Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Designer and select the Ellipse Tool. Hold down the Shift and drag to create a quick circle. Now go up here to the Fill and click on there. It might eventually appear. Sometimes it doesn't, just suddenly disappears as easily or just ignores you. Don't know why. However, what you can do, you can go to Gradient and you can then modify this midpoint. You can just change this. You can also change the type. So I'm just going to go with Elliptical or maybe Radial. What you can then do once you've got the colors you want, I'm going with black and white. <coughs> you can just go to the gradient tool. So gradient tool, and you can just drag and make a nice central point like that. So you've got a bright spot there very quickly. Now I can save this. I can quickly save it to a file. So file and export, because I want to use it as a brush. So now I'm saving it PNG format. That's the first one there. And you've got 1920, 1080 whole document and click export. Now I've already got a file there, test.png, so just replace that. So I've saved that. Now, what I do, go to the brushes, and you can find that in the view menu, studio and brushes. All of these panels are all available in the view menu studio. That's just displayed brushes so you can see it there. Go to the top, and you can see there's a little drop down there, and you can just go to new textured image. Select that, and then select the file. And there's always the panels in the way, so click open. Now, it's been saved. Now, I've got an art pad and pen. Make certain you select it, so sometimes if you don't select it, you'll end up using the other brush. So just go over here, you've got a variety of things you can use it with. So I'm just gonna go with the vector brush tool. So vector brush tool, and now apply. And as you can see what happens, this is the default. It's actually quite slow, actually, it just sort of drags around which is not exactly ideal, but it's still fine. It's just stretching that sphere like that, which is fine. However, what you can do, you can double click there. Just go to that, double click. And now within that, you can edit this. You can say brush width, but you can also, you've got here body and you've got stretch and repeat. Well, I want repeat, so repeat. And now you can see you've got these dots, these spheres. You can also modify various things. You've got pressure settings here. <clears throat> now I'm going to go with, say, change the brush width. It's a bit better than that. It was a fairly sizable document, so you can push it to a reasonable degree. And also size variance. You can change that. You can make it like that. However, that's not what we'll do. What I want is that. Now you can see you can apply it like that. That's a bit better. However, undo. Maybe not so much brush width but also what you can do you can change this you can see you've got this these red dots dashes and you can just drag and just as you do that it's a sort of spacing feature it's a pity there's no spacing feature here but however obviously you have to manually do it now unfortunately because of the shadow it's very hard to see i think i'm right i think it's about there that's as close as i can get them you could, of course, vary the, the design you're using to there. And once you've done that, now you can apply it. And you can see the result there. However, what you can do, you obviously can vary this. I'm just going to just reduce this down over here. So now it can be applied again. And actually, it's a bit quicker. It's actually a lot quicker to apply when it's a lot smaller. It takes a bit of time to process. However, that's not particularly great. You can see, now if I go over here, and I select it using the move tool. Now, if I go over here to the appearance panel, here's the appearance panel, you can see it's, there's no stroke associated or fill. Well, what you can do, you can change the color. So you think, you know what, I don't really want gray now. But what you can do, just click here. And eventually that will appear as well. And you can change the color, so you can make it red or maybe blue. So you can apply it again. Now I'm just gonna apply it again. And you can see, apply it again, apply it again. And then you think, you know what? I don't want it that. I can always select it again. I can always click there. And eventually it will turn. It's very weird. There is definitely some feature that just sort of doesn't respond very quickly with this panel for some weird reason. Sometimes you click it, nothing appears. And then about five examples suddenly appear. It's weird. It just takes a bit of time to process. 
Anyway, so you've got that. You can modify it in numerous ways. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.